John, I was starting to, to tell tell people about the uh, the bus stops mm -hmm. and the talking bus stop, the voice interface. Yeah, it's very good. I think I think they've done a good thing there because when when I was growing up and doing orientation mobility mobility around Exeter, you used to do that quite a lot because you used to have weekly lessons. Um, what used to be the West of England and West Foundation. Um, you, I, 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 um, from from year seven, I did or weekly orientation and mobility lessons with a uh, long cane around the around um, around Exeter and uh, learn all my bus routes and. They, they used to have a visual display, even though the visual display wasn't that useful to myself. It could have been useful for other people, but lately the bus stops have changed because they've really um, put, they've really put um, really small letters on the bus stop. And um, for, for, those, for those who don't know, I, I am severely visually impaired, so... It, it can become quite challenging, and it's even more challenging for somebody that's uh, totally blind, and um, and it's just and it's just a pain. John, I'm going to play. I'm going to play the um, the clip I was I was about to play for for you came in. So pe people, um, this is this is a, what what the what the bus stop sounds like. This is this is the voice of the bus stop from the the, the bus station, the new bus station near the, near the new swimming pool. This is stand one. The time is 15.05, service 7, destination at 15.45, service 7, destination at 16.45. So that is, that is quite good. I didn't know what destination it was. I don't no. Left a blank there. Yeah, it's good that they've got these things introduced into the bus station. But it, what I thought was, um, it could th there could be a lot more with that. Um, it would be useful if there was. Because it's, it's interesting, what you know about accessibility, uh, for, that's to say sound accessibility. Yeah, I mean, because I'm because I'm in the unfortunate situation where I can see letters and print, but when it comes down to it, I can't actually, my eye doesn't process what my, what, my brain doesn't process what the eye sees. So um, really, um, when it comes down to print, I'm useless. Um, so sound is how I get most of my information. So, um, uh, it would be good if more talking bus stops was introduced, but then I can, s I feel that they would kind of get vandalised uh, with with a lot of the things. Do you think? What, well, it could all be hidden away, sort of. Yeah, but how would they hi hide them away, and well, um, kind of let? They would have to let blind people know in some kind of way that 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 existed because when you cross when you do a when you use a pelican crossing there is something underneath the pelican crossing um underneath the sighted people can press the button but if you're totally blind and i've used them on several occasions because sometimes it's been busy and i i can't always see the green man so when i can get um, near to what's called the rotating comb, which is just underneath. Um, I use that, and you hold on to it, and when it's safe to cross, you go, it goes it goes around in your fingers. So that's a way for pelican crossings to be known for blind people, and also 
when you when you go up to a pelican crossing it will it will quite have tactile it will have blister coated paving on um it's kind of tactile paving for for the for those people for for those blind people okay well John, I think we're going to do the show in a different order to what I first thought of, because I, I thought we'd get to Devon County Council towards the end. Right. But actually, you've already gone to Pelican Crossings. Well... So would you like to talk about Queen Street? Well, Queen Street is quite annoying, because they always had they always had a Pelican Crossing outside of the museum. And since, since the lockdown and since COVID, it seems to have stop working and now we now it's a totally different um the the pelican crossing has been out of all of us for quite some time and it would be good to see that pelican crossing up and running again what what i've understood is that they did some temporary traffic arrangements which meant that they could afford on a temporary basis traffic lights at both ends of the section they sort of shut down to two-way cars uh, but they couldn't afford to coordinate those temporary traffic lights with the lights that would have been required if they'd kept the Pelican Crossing going. Well they say it's temporary but it's been in there for quite some time now so I wonder if it's um, two or three years? Two, it's been there, like yeah, that? it's been there for two or three years so I wonder if it's more permanent now So when we do get to Devon County Council uh, that's something we'd like to talk about. But going back to the bus stops, I'd, you see, I'd, I don't see why a bus stop shouldn't have the same functionality as, as a mobile phone. Because of the problem seems to be that half the population, maybe not half of bus users, but um, a lot of people have got access to a smartphone. Well, the, the difficulty is that the... that we're living in digital, something called the digital age and most of most things are actually you know it's becoming more and more you it, people are expected to use the internet a lot more when you come across um, pensioners particularly they struggle quite a lot because they're not used to the digital age or mobile phones and I can't um, you know even myself I can't see where the where I there used to be um, letters of the bus in bigger print, so I could read like K T J B, hypothetically whatever it is. But lately, I haven't been able to do that because they're not they're not si- they're not signposted in the way they were. So I'm not able to um, see see the letters at all. So the possibility is there is. They're assuming everybody's got access to a mobile phone, that, which may or may not be true. It seems, that seems to be the case. So the computer industry is, is actually quite keen on voice, voice interfaces for, for computers. So you can talk, to, you, can, you can say, hello, Google, what time is it? Or who is the Queen of Sheba? And all these things, and Google t- will talk back to you. They seem to be... They, they seem to other, be... Other search engines are available. Yeah, but they seem to be more, 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 more interested in 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 um, um. They seem to be more interested in digital interfaces now. Um, where I started using um, voice-activated software when it wasn't as mainstream. Um, but it seems to be more mainstream now. So you get Siri, you get you get Google. Um, YouTube is actually owned by Google. So you can, uh, if you if you go to YouTube, you can actually they've got actually built-in uh, voice um, activated stuff there. If you if you look on there, so it's all it's all becoming much more mainstream now. So if there's artificial intelligence hiding away somewhere, um, yeah, there could be vandalism. If, if somebody, you know, if it was just known that all the elements of a mobile phone are hidden inside a bus stop, there might be people who would take a, take the bus stop apart to find all the bits and pieces. Well, but that's... So is that, is that going to happen? You'd be surprised it does happen. Um, that would be... That would be... That would be... Um, 
that would be a concern to Devon County, County Council. They would have to think, they would have to build it in such a way that, that maybe it wouldn't be open, to, but then you can't be, people can't be um, making sure that it doesn't get vandalised every five minutes, so I don't know how they would work around that. OK. If you look at the bus stops in the bus station, you wouldn't say there's a loudspeaker there. It's it's quite well hidden, so it comes out of the top of the bus stop. Yeah. And all we're, all we're talking about is the kind of microphone you get if you're just asking for a, a door to be opened at a security mm. s- wall or something. Sure. So I, I, well, I've I've got two two ideas about about this. I had I had thought we should talk to graphic design students, maybe Exeter College, the School of Art or the Creative uh, Industries. There might be somebody there who would would be interested in complicated software that could adjust the design depending on how much space was available. Uh, but maybe the Innovation Centre because they've got a bus stop. The Innovation yes. Centre's got a bus stop, so... Where is the Innovation Centre? Um, it's up It's up on the campus, uh, sort of in the top corner, top right-hand corner. Of the so, university? Of the university, up where the, near where the car parks are. OK. Um, but their, their bus stop, it's, it's, it's quite a pleasant bus stop. I don't know whether they've put their own energy into designing it. Probably. It could be. But they've 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 only got one route. But the the timetable is at more or less eye level, and you can you can read it quite quite easily. Has it got big letters? Not especially big letters. No. no, no. But that's that's something to to consider. Mm. I think. Um, but they would they might, I mean they might know how to um, how to connect a database of, of bus times to a, a voice interface mm-hmm. that's, that's not, I would have thought somebody or Tech Exeter they're another, another lot might might know what's going on uh, possibly we'll, ch- we'll try and make some inquiries how possible this would be but you you, you, you may be right that security on, on the bus stop is I mean if they were to build them outside of the bus station so they were to build them in town that there would there would be there would be a worry of um, vandalism. Yeah. Okay. Well, we just have to work out where where they where they would be possible. Maybe if they're in, in the complicated bus stops. I think they're suitable. I think they're suitable for the for the bus station. I don't necessarily feel that they might be suitable at this time um, to to be. To be put in to be, to be put in the city centre. No. Okay. Well, look, we'll 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 try and raise all of this um, in, from a lot from a long term point of view, and also try try and get stagecoats to consider if they could have an alternative design within the software uh, for situations where there's only one route. 